Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel and in this video we will explore how we can use our Samsung QLED TV as a PC monitor. So since I purchased my HP ZBook, I was looking for a 4K monitor for my laptop to extend my display. So since I came across there are a lot of 4K TVs available in the market and their resolution is pretty good, their picture quality is pretty good. Then I go to a shopping mall and I see few TVs options. They are OLEDs, they are QLEDs. So then I found like QLED is best fit for my suitable needs. All the things that I want to do, I can easily do in this. And also like Samsung picture quality is far better than the other one that I see. Of course, OLED is much better, but uh, the life of OLED is not that much good. So we'll cover that OLED versus QLED in some separate video but here I want to show you everything about how you can connect your PC with your TV, what will be the quality, what will be the picture quality of your uh, display. Uh, we have two options to connect our TV. One is I have this HDMI cable and with this HDMI cable we will connect our laptop directly to our TV. And the second option we will uh, connect using our Wi-Fi. So wirelessly you can connect your TV and we'll explore the quality option. What are the advantages we will get using HDMI over Wi-Fi. Apart from that, we also go with the uh, applications like Maya, uh, Houdini, Nuke, and we'll see that how their user interfaces looks in this TV. And can we use this TV as our regular PC monitor? Second thing that we want to see in this TV is how we can uh, play games in this TV uh, using uh, maybe PC games like Battlefield. Uh, so I will play that also. And the third thing that we want to see in this TV is can we use this TV for coding purpose? Like as a programmer, if you want to write some code, how that will be like and how uh, the, the quality of pixels, how easy it is when you uh, see from the closer from the TV like like same monitor kind of experience can we get that or not so there are a lot of things to cover in this video and uh, at the end of this video I will also share what are the technical specifications that you should consider when you buy a TV for your PC so a lot of things to cover in this video let's jump inside and open this TV okay so let's start connecting that first let me just open my TV it is the box Let's just put it inside. So here we have the TV. Let me get the more. Let me start this TV. All right, this TV already started. And let's start our laptop. So first we have this cable. So let's just try connect using this cable. Very simple. You can just. Plug into your laptop and then connect inside HDMI. That's it, we connected. It's already detecting, scanning for device and PC detected. Let me just put this here. Okay. So let me just go to source PC and let me open this. Okay, so here you can see that our PC is already connected with uh, our TV and uh, the quality here uh, i will show you here in the close-up how the quality looks like but you can see that how easy it is to connect you just plug your uh, cable hdmi cable and straightforward connect it with your tv so no need extra configuration for that so this is the just basic setup okay let's just see close up how it looks like so right now our laptop is connecting to our pc using this hdmi cable and here you can see the quality and if I can take you very close up so right now I just open chrome and here you can see that it's pretty wide right 
but from close up i can see there are still few details which is not sharpened like sharpness is missing in this because the thing is we need to adjust is our resolution so right now what we are output uh, the display of our tv is uh, 1920 1080 so let's just adjust the display and go to display setting select our tv and here you can see that our primary monitor which is our laptop monitor is having resolution of 4k and uh, let's just select tv and here our resolution is 1920 1080 so let's just change up to recommended one okay immediately i can see the sharpness is increased let me show you from the close-up definitely i can see it's much more clean and uh, the detail is pretty good even in the fonts from very close up this is full zoom so but usually we see things from this distance so this is pretty good now let's just see our application how they looks like in our tv so right now we open a maya file inside our laptop screen and let's just see that how this uh, display works when we see this maya scene into our tv screen so let me just maximize that and here you can see the overall i can simply use this as my secondary screen and uh, the quality is really really good I mean the sharpness, the overall resolution, the focal resolution is very good and even you can see here the wireframes and every single thing is very clear. So definitely it will be a very uh, good option to actually display, extend your display uh, using uh, this Samsung QLED TV. Let's just see our other applications. This is new user interface and i can see the detail in the ui from a decent distance so i definitely can use this as my display of my new viewer so that is also a pretty good option now let's start a battlefield game now let's just see the battlefield 5 how this works so like you can see here right now the battlefield is already uh, started and you can see the quality and it's connected with my laptop using HDMI right now. So let us see and start. Now let's see how 4K and 8K videos looks like when we output the display from our laptop using HDMI cable. Alright, so let me just start with one of the video and uh, quality I am going to set to 8K.
this is when you want to browse youtube and uh, most of the time when you see the channels so all the details are uh, pretty wide and there is a lot of space for you so from very distance also you can just watch any youtube channel so if you haven't subscribed vfx pipeline please go and subscribe right now and uh, let's just go and explore few of the tutorials that we created so at least we get that how it will look in our screen so this is my recent video i created hello friends welcome to vfx pipeline and then we need to run cmds dot unknown so it's good for watching tutorials also of which i'm going to do a lot because most of the time i go and uh, watch video tutorials on my laptop but uh, just to watch videos i no need to go and turn on my laptop i can just go to my tv and i can watch the youtube videos whatever i want to know uh, so for example uh, watching tutorials where you need to see the commands where you need to see the actual text that is also pretty clear as you can see here and even from close up it's fine like details are good most of the time we watch videos which is uh, maybe breakdowns or maybe some of the techniques that we see right so this is also good experience to watch all this content in a big tv as you can see that if you watch in this laptop screen compared to that it is a very good experience to watch this Great. As, early on as you can see here, like even the details, I'm not missing any details, and all the things is pretty big. And the, another advantage you will get from this is once you connect your laptop using HDMI to your TV, then you can output the sound to your soundbar. So right now, this is my soundbar which is connecting with my TV and the sound is directly outputting to my uh, laptop sound is coming from my home theater so as you can see that it's pretty loud Now the good thing in Samsung TV is you can connect your TV without even having the HDMI cable. So let's explore that. First let me just connect that my TV, disconnect my TV. So let's just go and see the PC screen only. Okay and hit PC screen. So now I'm disconnected with my TV and as you can see that my TV is now scanning for the signals and I'm going to disconnect my hdmi cable so there is no hdmi cable connected right now and that's it so i have just my laptop and nothing is connected okay now what you have to do is you need to go to your settings here in the corner okay and when you go in the corner then you will see one option connect okay and once you go to the connect like i already uh, searched for my tv so here you can see that it's showing samsung q60 and let connect and here you can see that it's now connected to our samsung q60 tv and here we go the display is now on our tv right now but I'm not satisfied with the overall quality of uh, this uh, projection but uh, I'm not sure since this option is available maybe we can uh, have uh, some sort of use of this but uh, I'm still not sure that where we can use this part uh, let me just uh, open kind of a browser 
so this is one option where you can connect wirelessly but definitely the quality is not that much good but uh, if you need to uh, give some demo where you don't have uh, uh, hdmi available so but still you have an option where you can actually connect your tv with your laptop without even having anything so right now i don't even have let's just disconnect the power also so i have nothing here only my laptop and it's connected using wi-fi and here you can see that connected tv and uh, there are a few settings also here let's just explore what are these settings so there are a few modes here gaming working and watching video so let's just change this so right now it's some gaming working i see little bit smoothness in working watching video so let's just open video here if you want to learn how to hack into systems as an ethical hacker check this i've used this Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline channel and in this video I will show you how you can clean my I mean, files. It's still it's it's working fine cool. but uh, compared to the HDMI definitely the quality is not that much level. So uh, this is an option which is available for you uh, but uh, I would recommend if you want to really use your TV full functioning with the all high end quality like all 4k level quality then definitely you should go with the hdmi connection because then only you can actually get the complete picture quality where you should see uh, as a pc monitor another advantage of having tv is you no need to run your pc or your laptop to watch movies or play songs so here you can see that with TV, you can get all kind of pre-built apps where you can watch movies on Netflix and watch movies on YouTube and play music and all, right? So this is where you can get and even the quality is really amazing. And uh, here you can see that this is like uh, one of the video which is on Netflix. Uh, right okay, and, and the advancement? quality is also amazing. And you can change all kind of uh, languages or Hindi, bank English. Bank Patna phone kiya gaya hai. Rahul Sharma bol raha hu. Aapka bank ka jo ATM card hai na, wo ban kar diya gaya. Aap apna system check kijiye. Usme zoom karo koi garbar nahi hai. Oh ho, visa se, visa card. This is the screen when you see a code or any kind of source code on your TV screen. And here right now I just open PyCharm and here you can see that I have some Python code here and uh, it's very easy and comfortable to view this code here even from a very decent distance also. So this is cool. I can simply see that I can write some more quality code when we have better screen, wider screen. I can simply see what are the things going on in the back and it's very good to have more real estate to watch when you have when you're working on some sort of coding part right so this is for the coding stuff and i'm pretty much okay with that now let's just explore some of the settings display settings right now my uh, laptop is connecting using hdmi and here you can see this is the display which we see here right now and let's just explore the display settings so let me go and click on display settings and right now only second like extended monitor is active so and it is zoomed at 200 percent so let me just zoom out to 100 percent so this is the zoomed out and here you can immediately see the icons are getting smaller but that's quite okay let me just go beyond 4k so you can go up to 4096 to 160 let's just see how this resolution works okay amazing this is more vibrant i would say the colors are actually very vibrant here in this setting you can see this is the display 
and this is my laptop so you can compare that even my laptop screen is 17.3 inches this is one of the biggest screen available on laptops but tv is huge that is amazing so let's just go back to the same uh, resolution which is our recommended one and keep these changes yes and uh, scale to 200 percent okay this is pretty much a good setting 200 percent right okay now let us go to the nvidia panel and one of the most important thing when you buy a tv in terms of technical specification you should see that how much refresh rate supported by your tv which you are going to buy so right now i purchased this uh, qled tv so this uh, samsung qled tv is uh, supporting up to 240 hertz so this is huge okay let's just see where we can see that so right now my resolution here is let me cut closer so here is 4k resolution and in 4k i can go up to 60 hertz but where is that another hertz that we can get so let's just select 1080p and then see and i can go up to sorry i can go up to 120 hertz so this is very important when you buy a tv for playing games and playing some very smooth content ultra high fps content so this setting make sure your tv support up to 120 hertz and mostly if you want to buy a tv which goes up to 120 hertz then you need to go beyond 55 inches or maybe 49 inches also there are some tvs which supports that but i'm not sure so here let's just apply so this is the game mode which is uh, for gaming this this give a very smooth experience of 120 hertz uh, your refresh rate is pretty much fine but uh, since this is i'm not a gamer and I'm, i did not go for too much detail about what are these things so you can find other videos on youtube about that but since 120 hertz maybe it's good for me for any kind of a vfx uh, kind of work where i need to work on some high fps uh, videos or vfx work so that is it's good to have a future proof tv in your in your desk right but still i can see that after selecting 1080p and 120 hertz the, the overall experience on this uh, laptop is very smooth and what i can do is right now i can go to the settings and go reduce the zoom to uh, normal position where select and uh, change to oh it's already 100 percent so that's fine right so this is very amazing i mean i'm very very okay with that this uh, this tv so now come to the conclusion you should buy a tv or monitor see with tv uh, i would say you get two things one you will get definitely will get the extended display and these days the quality of the screen since this is qled quantum dot led so definitely i can see that quality here the almost the pc level quality here and you should buy a, a tv or monitor that's completely your call your decision what exactly your work but definitely where you are in a very color precision environment like you are doing color grading and all then you need some uh, special monitors like uh, dream color monitor and all that is very calibrated to the output and also since we are talking about this let's just explore one more thing about this tv which is let's just go to the settings and inside settings we have few modes here which is standard dynamic dynamic and standard so when we are in dynamic mode i can see this is uh, the quality is much more sharper here and uh, this is and when i press this here you can see that we are receiving 1920 1080 at 120p so that is actually our frame rate 120 hertz we are seeing this the pc hdmi overall this is really very good investment and uh, 
it will help me to produce some good quality content for you guys this is i brought for my youtube channel where i can view my own videos in a big screen and edit in a very good way and also i can utilize for coding work and also for my entertainment purpose so guys this is it for this video and i hope this video will give you some sort of clarity of whether you should buy a tv or you should buy a monitor for my case i really need a tv where i can visualize i can view my content and in a big screen and also sometime i can utilize as a extended monitor or as extended screen for my laptop two three things which is i like more in this tv is one is its 4k display another is its step it's vibrant third is uh, the sound is very good and i can connect my home theater with my tv and i can just output my laptop content using hdmi so i can just get the real dolby sound experience also with my laptop and also when i really want to watch only videos then i no need to start my laptop or i can go i don't go inside my ipad or iphone i can just simply turn on my tv and watch videos on netflix and youtube that is most of the time i do in my free time i watch video tutorial i watch seminars i watch uh, some breakdowns vfx breakdowns so this is where i spend consume a lot of media on my tv so that is this is very important for me so that's why i feel like this is a very good uh, decision for me to buy a tv now you let me know in the comments below that uh, which tv you are actually going to buy for your laptop as a extended display and uh, if you suggest that uh, tv is still not a good option then let me know what are the things that actually you you think that why it is not a good option because as my perspective i'm seeing in front of me like it's perfectly working fine as uh, working as uh, a normal computer monitor works right so now let's just uh, i will give you the pricing of this i brought this in uh, around 121000 in india and uh, that's it for this video so i hope uh, you understand all these things and uh, let's just close this video and i will see you in my next videos please guys subscribe this channel and like this video and share this video with your friends who want to buy a tv for their PCs. Thank you.